the most powerful force on earth. Market bubbles are an interesting thing. They represent the extreme of human emotions. Even non-bubble markets are fascinating from a psychological standpoint. It's easy to fall into the logical trap when looking at stock charts. Stock charts themselves, separate from what they represent, are a statistician's fantasy come true. Short-term moving averages, long-term moving averages, the upper and lower bound based on standard deviations, the indicators on the bottom representing overbought and oversold. It looks so technical and specific that just using stock market charts to make money seems super, super easy. Every time this red line touches the blue line, jump in. Every time it crosses the middle line and touches the top line, jump out. Gaze back a few weeks or months and you'll see this happen over and over. Easy money, right? Not so fast. As soon as you have an open position, your detached, logical brain takes a back seat. And your emotions are in high gear. Every time the stock ticks up, it's proof you are going to be a millionaire. Every time it ticks down, it's proof you are going to be homeless. So why not create a robotic trading system? After all, if they can do robot surgery, fly helicopters on Mars, why can't they write a simple program that will make us all rich? The reason is because stock charts are descriptions of human behavior, not individuals which can be easy to predict, but crowds. Imagine a murmuration, a swarm of starlings. Those birds that kind of swarm around in a beautiful but absolutely unpredictable behavior. These are simple birds with simple programs. When they are in a flock, their individual rules are simple. Stay the same distance from the dudes around you. Yet each bird with those simple set of rules creates these beautiful yet chaotic patterns. Now imagine a few hundred thousand people jumping in and out of the hottest stock. Birds have simple rules. Humans not so simple. Extremely complex mixes of fear and greed and everything in between. Sure, you can describe it, but all those descriptions are based on previous behaviors. Even more complex are the rare market bubbles that happen periodically. One of them, the South Sea bubble that happened back during the 1700s, caused Isaac Newton to lose a fortune. Even the super genius creator of calculus couldn't resist. What drives stock bubbles? Warren Buffett said that when your idiot neighbor is talking about getting rich, you know it's a bubble. This is massive amount of scarcity, and it also represents something else. The fear of missing out, or FOMO. When FOMO kicks in, even Newton can't think straight. What if you could create FOMO for you? What if you showed up and people looked at you and thought, Damn, I gotta get some of that before it's too late. What would that do for your social life? To learn more, visit mindpersuasion.com forward slash scarcity dash generator.